Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case Conspiracy Case 3, the status of all keys. Let's unlock chapter 3 and the Irish Wolfhound is going to, or maybe not, going to attack Jones. Grrr. It's an Irish Wolfhound. Nice doggy, good doggy. Do you want the rest of my hot dog? Ah, you gave it a hot dog, that's nice. That was close. Looks like this dog is hot for hot dogs. Fitz, come here! Sorry about that, I thought this was Kevin's dog, but it's probably Fitz. Otherwise, I would have come over soon, sooner. Sorry if old Fitz gave you a scare. No harm, no fool, Mr. Chiswick. Just make sure you get your dog back on a leash, okay? You're right, continue. We need to get back to the trail of the cure. Another look around a food truck could help. Okay. You have a dog, you have a dog. And that's you cracking the frequency. Alright, now this food truck, let's investigate it. Oh, that's supposed to be a few. Why are you holding a lamp? Well, it's also cute, but why? And there's the laptop, there's the hand written on the laptop screen. Trash bag, of course. And something for later, Peter. <laughs> hmm, this laptop has a hand logo as its desktop photo. I think you gotta lock it so you can see if there's anything about the victim in there. And his magazine has Ian Devine's face on it, but I can't make out the rest. He doesn't give more help, I'm sure. And you're right, I looked through the trash here caught her. We should leave a single banana peel on turn in our hunt for Ian Devine's killer. Let's search everything then. Alright. First the disgusting thing. Trash bag. Divine tree out of ten. Wow, what are you collecting a sample for? So trash you little toothbrush in a plastic bag, huh? That's a little odd. And you're right, you have other is what's written on the back. Divine tree out of ten. Better get this bag to brush the lab if we're going to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, who was collecting samples and for what? Hey, it's that tree out of ten. What's that going to be? We're gonna find out later. Let's dust this poster now. The Vi One quits tour with the hench. Yeah, I can't read anything now, it's too blurry. Can they cover out that rock back and it says the Vi One quits tour? Wait, this magazine is reset. You article is talking about the hench current tour. So the Vi was going to refuse to perform. The boss have made his manager really angry. So why didn't Mr. Sen Sen Kevin tell us about this? You better get the real story this time. Okay. Now let's unlock this laptop. Hey, it looks like there's a video file of this laptop and it's named Divine. Aggregate, you should take a look. Let's press play. Just one file, right? How dare you! How could you write a book about us? Oh, go on, Ian. Our Todd details could help pad our retirement and you know it. All I know is that I'm gonna find all the copies of your rubbish book and set fire to them. Then I'm going to lock you in the closet of my dressing room for the rest of your life. You would uh, you don't mean that. Ian, please, you know I can't handle small spaces. You can't, huh? Whoa, Ian Devine seemed pretty angry, and Miss Sweet looked terrified. 
Apparently it was over some book Miss Sweet had written. Since like Miss Sweet left some information out when we first questioned her. You better get the full story this time. Alright. Alright, first Kevin. Kevin. Mr. C. Kevin, we just came across a magazine that said your top star was quitting this tour. Funny that you failed to measure that. I failed to measure because it was all news. It's true that shortly after going to the reunion, Ian claimed he didn't want the tour anymore. Believe me, I drank a lot of gold stag when he said he wanted to quit. He said he just wanted to stay in Wales, raise his sheep, and sell his knitwear online. The holly sounds like a rock star's life. Well, exactly. I think canceling the tour would have gone down badly with the fans. I mean, if I could face my claustrophobia to manage this tour from a cramped bus, he could live without his ship for a few months, right? But you said this was old news, so he changed his mind and decided to perform again? Yes, I found a button to press. The fans. I described just how disappointed they'd be. So he signed on for one last rock and roll hurrah. Well, it was his last hurrah, I'm much certain. Maybe he should have just stayed on the farm. Oh. So that's what this land was all about. You were going to stay on the farm and not perform anymore. Alright, now Rose. So, Miss Sweet, what's this infamous book of yours that Ian Devine wanted to burn? What? How do you know about that? We got you your video on your laptop. Your chat with Ian got pretty heated. Yeah, and I in a way I hope when I started recording. I wrote this tell all book about my days as his groupie. All the girls have been doing it, so I thought, why not me? But he tried to sue me. He said he wouldn't allow the book to be printed as long as he was alive. He got so violent, I wish I had brought my Irish Wolfhound with me. How is it that Divine end up dead? Now there's nothing stopping you from hitting the best sellers list with your memoirs. You got it all wrong, darling. I'm a lover, not a killer. We'll see about that. Don't lie to me. Divine 3 out of 10, what was this for? Was it for DNA analysis? Because it seems like... But I ha because I have a feeling it's going to be since it was in that paper bag, so... Katia, there has been quite a development text on the humble toothbrush you found. That toothbrush was just in fact the victim. Someone collected it and that someone was Easy Ramsey. How on earth could you have figured that out, Robert? DNA, pure and simple. There were two subs of DNA on the toothbrush. One was the victim's, and the other was Miss Ramsey's. So Miss Ramsey was collecting personal items of the victim's? Great, more crazy for her. Jones, there is more to that DNA. Ian Divine and Easy Ramsey's sample smashed. He's her father. What? Easy Ramsey is Ian Divine's biological daughter? Yes, there's no doubt of the results of the autosomal DNA samples. Well, you had better go speak with Miss Ramsey. Her whole conspiracy theory shift could be a lie. And you are telling us that the real Ian Divine is dead. What was that for? Let's go talk to Easy then. Mr. Ramsey, we found part of your collection of Ian Divine's personal effects and... Do you have to interrogate me here? Can't we go outside? I feel really, really claustrophobic. We'll be st staying here for the interrogation. And you're going to tell us why you really sold that toothbrush. Simple, that took off is one of the items I plan to use to prove that your victim was an imposter. So you're sticking to the imposter story? You honestly expect us to believe that you didn't know that Ian Divine was your father? What? That's impossible, I was born in the 1980s. The real Ian Divine had been dead for years before that. Look, Miss Ramsey, I'm only gonna say this once. We had a scientist examine that toothbrush. It belonged to the real Ian Divine and you are his daughter. What? He, he really wasn't dead? And he was my dad? I can't tell what you really did or didn't know, Miss Ramsey, but I hope for your sake you weren't involved in this murder. Oh, she's only claustrophobic, so she's out. Well, we got a few more juicy details about the exciting life of an aging English rock star. Sheep farming. Really? Hey, you have heard, heard of suspects who have been withholding information from us. Rose Sweet had a serious fight with the victim, and our cooking conspiracy theory turns out to be the victim's illegitimate daughter. What's next? Good boy, Katia. What's next should we catch the killer? Let's get back to the crisis. scene. Well, let's catch the dude who killed Ian Divine.
And the last crime scene. Let's investigate the concert stage again. Even though it says gear crates. But we are we are on a concert, so broken device. Oh. And we still haven't found what caused what caused the victim to die. Of course, headphones. You needed to use that. You shouldn't have a. Uh, you shouldn't do this uh, without headphones. So, so you put the headphones on uh, Ian, and then you put on the music. That's how it went. Catalyst protective headphones have an excellent noise cancellation. I've been wanting a pair ever, ever since my upstairs neighbors moved in. But you're right, this pair also has blood all over them. We know our victim was killed with a sound frequency that liquid his brain, so he definitely was protecting his ears. But the killer must have been. Let's take blood sound from those protective headphones, Katria. Alright, so it was the opposite then. I was expecting that he was, uh, Ian had these headphones on and then Killer put up uh, the music and uh, it was on a higher frequency and that's how he died. But there's always the opposite. It was, for, it was for the Killer, for his protection. I thought that uh, first because there was blood on it, so... Uh, what is this broken stuff? It looks vaguely technical. Let's reassemble it and see what it could be. Let's rock and roll, Tria. Let's rock and roll and finish this case and catch the killer. I want to know what next is going to come after we arrest the killer and then uh, we continue on our drug bus, if I'm, if I'm going to say it like that. Let's get the gamble die pin. Oh, oh. Well, Katia, yeah, I was clueless as ever as to what that device could be. But it does remind me vaguely of a megaphone. It could have produced a frequency that liquefied Ian Divine's brain. Rita will know. Let's get the device to her. Yeah. Well, that's how, how I use the murder weapon, so... Alright, now this bloody headphones. Let's get that blood sample from protecting headphones to the lab right away, Katia. There has to be something that will help us catch the killer. Okay. Let's start this. Was this device used to kill Ian? Katia, we will use this thing is one sick puppy. The device did emit the frequency that killed Ian Divide. The weapon emits infrasound frequencies. It can also combine the inaudible frequencies with audible ones to create overtones that are lethal. I tested the device with a few items with rough, the same density and weight of a human brain, and every time I ended up with a bunch of goo. Gross, but helpful. Is there anything else that can help us catch the killer? Well, we'll use this device to kill any wildlife traces of a substance on it. Traces of salve used to heal tattoos are left all over the device by the killer. Rob confirmed it. So, you has some ink, huh? Or oh, they'll have to sell for prison tattoos pretty soon. Okay. Oh, I see, that's how our suspects have tattoos, so. And now this blood. Hello again, Katia. You're just in time for scones and clotted cream. Now, I prefer the Devon style of clotted cream or the scone followed by jam, but I will not judge you if you choose the Corval method, which is, of course, the inverse. Your open mind and nice is comforting, Rob, but we are on the clock here. What can you tell us about the blood cell that they found on protecting headphones? Well, the blood was the victim, but he obviously was aware the protecting headphones or his brain would still be intact. The kid had to have been worried about the time of the bird to protect themselves, but they ended up getting a bit spattered. 
Yeah, tell me about them. Was there anything in the sample that could help us track down the killer? Oh yes, you see, some of the killer's ear hair was caught in with tiny headphones that I've been of it was in the blood sample you brought me. What would it be, ear hair, of course, it wasn't enough in the sample for full genetic analysis. But I can tell you without doubt that the killer is male. So are the male suspects killed Ian Divine, and all the male suspects are close friends of his. With friends like that, who needs enemies? Yeah, we got the manager, we got Tank, and who else? Oh yeah, the bass guitar player. Alright, Katrina, we have all we need to rest the device killer. Time to build a stairway to prison. Okay. Let's see who was it. And why did you kill? And why would this matter? Oh, I thought it was going to be Tank, but he doesn't have the two. And she's not male. But it's somebody else I already expected to be the kill. It's his manager. Why was... Uh, did he have to do with cancelling the tour and going f to live with Lamp or something like that? What went wrong? Just tell us. Kevin said, Kevin, you're under arrest for the murder of Ian Divide. How could you think I'd do such a thing? Besides, he was my top star. Well, maybe you should cut down on the gold standards and say, Kevin, you left some of Divine's wrist when you checked his pulse. That could have been left by someone shake his head. Gold stack is available to anyone on this tour. No, I really think it has more to do with your carelessness. You let your Irish wolfhound shed all over your self hypnosis CD to beat claustrophobia. Try to stop an Irish wolfhound from shedding? I dare you, that doesn't make me a killer. You really didn't think you'd ever get caught, did you? You thought by breaking the device you used to liquefy Divine's brain that we wouldn't find it? But you were wrong. Take the fight, your hair to protect the headphones you wore to protect yourself during the murder. We know it was you. Right, fine. I did kill you and Divine. Things haven't been the same since the hench broke up. I thought a reunion tour would help everyone's finances, including mine. But tickets weren't selling. No one cares about these guys anymore. What about the fans, Kevin? Wasn't this tour supposed to be for the fans? Fans? Look, I did the math. The Hedge would get more fans if one of the members died. Everyone knows a band's record sales explode after a member of the group dies. At least for a little while. But a little while would be more than enough. So you decided to fill a coffee so you could fill your coffers? Kevin said carry you other rest. Oh Jesus, why? Why? All just to get some money. Wow. Mr. Ken said, K, you said accused of murdering Ian Divine by a location of his brain. It's an unusual murder, but I know my crime history and I recall a few other cases where the victim was killed with sound. The rock star needed the right kind of death in order to boost the band's record sales. Do not get the impression that I would buy you your bottles of brandy. Given the premeditated nature of this disturbing crime, this court her by sentencing you to 25 years in prison. 25 years in a tiny cell? I won't last a week. Well, who, it's, not your, it's not our fault that you have claustrophobia, so... Money sure fuels a lot of murder, doesn't it, Katria? It's helpful to think that years of friendship could end in such a bloody way simply because of greed. But once again, we caught the cure thanks to you, Katria. Hey, how about we check out the donut situation in the break room to celebrate the job well done? Yeah, we deserve it. Without music, right? Uh, without a higher fre frequency. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna start here, you can see playing the old friend's new beginnings number 3. So, thank you for watching. Look at you like this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye! <laughs>